Welcome back to assignment number two series. Uh, without wasting your time, uh, for those of you who like to contact us, please use the number provided on the screen. Uh, in this tutorial session, we'll focus on uh, step number 10 and step number 11. Step number 10 states that uh, we need to position the insertion point after the period at the end of the document okay insert a smart a smart art from the process category equation select the outside border of the smart art and then change the height of the uh, smart art to one and the width to 6.5 okay so number 11 says that with the smart art selected change the layout options to square the horizontal uh, alignment to centered relative to the page and the vertical alignment to bottom relative to the margin okay so let us go to the document now and try to follow these instructions okay so they said we need to position the insertion point this here okay uh it says position the insertion point after the period at the end of the document okay um so after doing that we need to insert a smart a smart ad from the process category click on insert uh and then go to smart art okay double click on smart art uh once this has appeared on the screen uh, click on process then once you've uh uh clicked on process you need to find equation equation uh, has minus uh, it has three circles with plus and equal sign okay click on that one and then you click on ok okay uh, after clicking on ok you will see that it gives you uh, options to insert uh, text if you close this you can still type inside here okay i'm not gonna close this because i think it makes life much easier okay so the next instruction after doing that they say we need to change the height of the smart art to one okay i'm just gonna go to i'm just gonna click format okay click here uh okay make sure that you click the outside the outside border because uh, initially when it opened this one was highlighted so if you change the the the, the height you, you would have changed the height of this one okay so we want to change the height of everything so you click on format okay then you click on one one remember my units are correct and are exactly the same as the ones used here okay so after typing one you just press enter and then you come here uh, you click 6.5 6.5 six comma five okay then click end oh sorry six comma five you don't even have to click enter six comma five and then you you you, you leave the come on uh that was supposed to be this one is it six comma five no it's six okay six comma five hmm what did they do to my news okay i was supposed to use uh, point not comma which is confusing sometimes you use comma sometimes you use point okay once that is done okay uh, what else did they want oh, so I'm basically done with number 10 and uh, number 11 says with the smart art selected change the layout options to square okay you need to oh, click on this thing here on this box here that, uh, that's your layout, layout options click on it and then square is the first one uh, uh, just under the title with text wrapping click on square after clicking on square they say the horizontal alignment need to change the horizontal alignment uh, to centered relative to the page okay to do that you come here click see more then you go to horizontal alignment you go to alignment then they say it must be centered relative to the page okay and the vertical alignment must be uh vertical alignment must be bottom must be bottom change this to bottom relative to margins okay relative to margin then you click okay okay then you done with that part okay so i'm just gonna do uh, step number 
13 here but you know let's do that on the next video okay so thank you for watching this video uh please watch uh, the last uh, two steps